Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I am going to solve Aga Khan University Examination Board Class Metric Annual Examination 2022 Chemistry Paper. In this video, I am only going to solve 40 theory questions out of total 50 questions. So let's get started. Question number 1. The substance that is classified as Lewis acid is. So in this question, it is asked that which one is the Lewis acid. According to the definition, Lewis acid is a type of acid which is capable of accepting the lone pair. So option A, ammonia. Ammonia uh, would donate karta because nitrogen has a lone pair and it will donate its lone pair. So it's not Lewis acid, it's Lewis base. Aluminium chloride. Aluminium chloride because in this um, aluminium has capacity to accept the electron pair because it has an open shell. So um, option B is correct. Aluminium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide these are also bases. Question number 2. Lemons, oranges and grapefruits have a sore taste due to presence of these all have a sore taste so these are acids but the acid present in these are citric acid option a and question number three all of the following acids can form acidic salts except for these all can um, achha, which is the except so acidic acid is the exception here because it is a weak acid it cannot form acidic salts all other listed here b c and d these are strong acids and can form acidic salts moving to question number four the option that shows the incorrect categorization of properties of acids and bases is in this question we have to match the correct property of acid and base so option a acid gives hydrogen ion in aqueous solution yes acid um, gives hydrogen ions on ionization and base gives hydroxyl ion this is also correct acid burns the skin when touch yes Acid is corrosive in nature and base is slippery. Then option C, acid turns red litmus blue. This is incorrect because acid turns blue litmus into red and base turns red litmus into blue. So this is incorrect. Option C is incorrect. While option D, acid test is sore, it is correct. And base test is bitter, it is also correct. Then question number 5. It is a equation is given acid plus X and the products are Y plus by product. So we have to identify what is X and what is Y. In this question is asked when acid reacts with X. So what is X? Let's uh, see option A. In option A it is said that if X is metal so the products will be salt carbon dioxide and water because yahan pe metal hai to wo carbon dioxide nahi dega to ye option cut ho gaya salt will be formed and water will also not form then option b active metal when acid reacts with an active metal definitely salt is formed but along with it hydrogen gas is released so option b is correct option c and d are also incorrect because in metal hydroxide no carbon dioxide is present uh, produced and option D is also incorrect because metal carbonate releases carbon dioxide not hydrogen gas so 5 ka option B is correct then question number 6 for decorative purposes the surface of different glasswares is etched to create different designs the process is result of the corrosive action of A or N in this question it is asked that in etching process which is used as a corrosive agent so it is acid and the specific acid which is used mostly is hydrogen fluoride hydrofluoric acid it is known as hydro uh, hydrofluoric acid hydrofluoric acid is used as uh, acid in itching process then question number seven Consider the given neutralization reaction. This is a neutralization reaction where hyd um, nitric 
acid is given magnesium hydroxide as base is given and we have to identify the products as well as the coefficients of acid and base so the correct interpretation of wxyz in the given equation is um, given that magnesium hydroxide is a diacidic base so it will require two moles of nitric acid so coefficient of w will be two yani ki option or c or d me se humne dekhna hai because two hydrogen and two hydroxide ions will form two molecules of water so z here is water and um, and baki magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide ka coefficient one hi hoga and the salt salt will be formed magnesium and metal will react with uh, this component to so magnesium nitrate salt will be formed option c is the correct answer then question number 8 with reference to types of salt this is classified as the name of this compound is lead acetate hydroxide so this is basically a basic salt although it it contains lead cation lead as cation pv and plus 2 hydroxide is a9 and acetate is a9 but it is get, uh, categorized as a basic salt because it contain hydroxide a9 as well as lead as cation so this is a basic salt question number 9 non polar organic compound exhibit jo bhi organic compounds are mostly non polar in nature and they exhibit weak intermolecular forces they do not have high boiling point they do not have high melting point they do not have weak ionic bonding because they are organic they mostly have ionic oh sorry they mostly have covalent bonding question number 10 the process that does not utilize organic compounds is the the process that doesn't utilize organic compound is d option d conversion of hard water into soft water all other options listed here utilize organic compounds question number 11 in the given organic compound the basic hydrocarbon chain is this is a given hydrocarbon and we have to identify the basic hydrocarbon chain for this we have to open this condensed formula into the open structure so write like this ch3 which is the terminal methyl then bond then second carbon because ch3 yahan pe ye jo two hai wo bracket mein hai to it means ke these are its branches to ye ch3 ek side this branch this branch then attach with ch2 then attach with carbon and then this carbon is attached with 3 ch3 so one ch3 yahan pe aayega dusra ch3 yahan pe aayega and tisra ch3 yahan pe aayega CH3 CH3 and CH3 ye bond so now identify identify the basic chain number of carbons numbering hum start karte hain jahan se uh, branch is but dono mein carbon number 2 pe hi branch ho rahi hai to 1 2 3 4 and 5 the basic chain contains five carbon it is pentane these all are branches ye bhi branch hai ye bhi branch hai ye bhi branch hai and ye bhi branch hai then question number 12 if a substitute is added in a straight chain propane then the result will be agar ek straight chain propane hai agar hum us pe substitute substitute add kar rahe hain to result will be propane se wo propyl ho jayega प्रोपेन से वो प्रोपाइल हो जाएगा 
then question number 13 the general formula for the homologous series of alkane is alkane ka general formula hota hai cn h2n plus 2 question number 14 in a homologous series all members contain the same general formula molecular formula and number of carbon atoms differ question number 15 the functional group in methyl amine is in methyl amine the functional group is amine B. methyl jo hai wo uh, side chain hai that is why amine uska functional group hai then question number 16 dextrose is given intravenously to patients with dextrose is a solution of glucose and it is given in a condition when there is low blood sugar option b question number 17 in addition to carbon hydrogen and oxygen a protein molecule may also contain nitrogen and sulfur these are the elements present in a protein molecule then question number 18 a set of reactions involved in the formation and breakdown of peptide linkage in proteins first remember that in proteins there is peptide linkage so for the formation of peptide linkage condensation occurs and in condensation water is removed so for the breakdown of peptide linkage obviously we will need water and there will be hydrolysis so option c is correct formation of peptide linkage occurs by condensation and breakdown of peptide linkage occurs by hydrolysis addition of water and condensation removal of water 18 c then question number 19 the enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of glycosidic linkage in starch is in the in this question it is asked that to break down the glycosidic linkage to hydrolyze the glycosidic linkage the enzyme responsible for that is amylase in starch it is amylase then question number 20 yeast is added in dough making because it contains enzymes that act on simple sugars with the reference to the given statement the enzymes in yeast convert simple sugars to in this question it is asked again about the uh, in this question asked ke enzyme convert simple uh, sorry, the products are asked enzyme in yeast converts simple sugars into the because this is the fermentation process in yeast when fermentation occurs the byproducts formed are ethanol and carbon dioxide 20 option d then 21 lipase enzyme is used in detergents to catalyze the breakdown of lipase is the enzyme which catalyzes the breakdown of lipids or oils so definitely oil stains ko clean karne ke liye lipase enzyme is used in detergents uh, option a then question number 22 the process of hydrogenation which means addition of hydrogen hydrogenation of vegetable oil helps to increase the uh, hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen and we are adding hydrogen in the vegetable oil oils are unsaturated uh, hydrocarbons or um, unsaturated fatty acids so when unsaturated the, it means K they contain double or triple bond when hydrogenation occur that double or triple bond are broken down into stable single bond so saturated fats are it is a um, to increase the stability to convert it into the single, uh, single bond hydrogenation occurs and the other uh, option is wo hai resistant to oxidant to make them resistant to oxidation hydrogenation occurs so two and three are in option c then question number 23 the structure of deoxyribonucleic acid dna doesn't consist of DNA consists of an inorganic phosphate group, yes. Thymine as one of the nitrogen bases, yes. A 6-carbon sugar is a backbone of each and this is incorrect uh, because DNA contains a 5-carbon sugar which is known as deoxyribose sugar. So, 23 ka option C is correct. 24. The state of environmental spheres that are affected by human activities mentioned in the given table is dumping of waste in oceans and overfishing and habitat destruction dumping of waste in oceans so definitely there should be water hydrosphere 
and habitat destruction biosphere option d is correct question number 25 which of the following oxides is produced by electrical discharge of lightning during a thunderstorm during a thunderstorm electric discharge occurs by the nitric oxide 25 ka option a then 26 catalytic converters are used in automobile exhaust system to convert catalytic converters are used in automobile gariyon mein ye system exhaust system mein laga laga hota hai in order to convert carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide because carbon monoxide is produced in incomplete combustion and it is very harmful for the environment so it is firstly converted into the carbon monoxide then it is released as smoke 27 question it is advised not to sleep in a closed car with its engine running because this action causes in the decreased level of in 27 the correct option is a it causes a decrease in the level of oxygen and it causes increase in the level of carbon monoxide so it is advised not to sleep in a closed car oxygen ke level decrease it will cause problems for the person sitting in it question number 28 highly acidic rain leaches a metal x from the soil this metal reaches water bodies and causes destruction of aquatic ecosystem so metal identified is aluminium because it's highly toxic question number 29 the state of condition that causes global warming and increased amount of ultraviolet radiation to reach the earth's surface respectively is the condition that causes global warming and the condition that causes increased amount of ultraviolet radiation are so concentration of carbon dioxide in troposphere is if it is increased definitely it will cause global warming global warming the main reason he increase in the carbon dioxide level hai. or increase amount of ultraviolet radiations to our this is because ke concentration of ozone is decreasing ozone ki concentration decrease hogi to sun ke direct ultraviolet radiations earth pe aayenge and when carbon dioxide increase so the effect is global warming jisko earth ka temperature increase hota hai 29 ka option b then 30 the property of water due to which it is considered as a universal solvent is its polarity water is universal solvent because it is polar in nature it dissolves all kinds of polar uh, solutes question number 31 when passed through a column of an iron exchange zeolite resin hard water so hard water kya karta hai? it absorbs the sodium ions option a then question number 32 at a sewage treatment plant the step that occurs in digesters is that uh, the step that occurs in digesters is that it produces methane gas option b then question number 33 during water pu purification at the waterworks the step that occurs in the sedimentation tank is that because the step is occurring in the sedimentation tank and in sedimentation something settles down settles down at the bottom so the only option that uh, sink to the bottom of the tank are the small particles stick together and they sink to the bottom of the this is the sedimentation which um, occurs sorry option d then question number 34 when sodium hypochlorite is added in the swimming pool water it releases an active sanitizing agent the sodium hypochlorite ko swimming pool made karte so what is the active sanitizing agent it is the hypochlorous acid produced 34 may option d hypochlorous acid is known as sanitizing agent a compound of chlorine then question number 35 fluorosis is a waterborne disease which shows the symptom of fluorosis is a condition of the weakening of the teeth option a 36 
In the extraction of aluminium from its ore, all of the following gases are produced except in the extraction of the aluminium from its ore. Extraction of aluminium oxygen is produced, carbon dioxide is also produced, but sulfur dioxide is not produced at in any step. Question number 37. In a blast furnace, carbon in the form of carbon monoxide is used to react with iron oxide. The reaction is as follows. The purpose of using carbon monoxide in this reaction is see that the carbon monoxide um, has a single oxygen here and, and it is converted into carbon dioxide. That means carbon monoxide ki oxidation hui hai and ferric oxide here in the reactant is converted into the iron which means that ferric oxide has loses its oxygen. This means that ferric oxide has undergone reduction process so the purpose of using carbon monoxide here is that it reduces the iron oxide then question number 38 which of the following changes are observed during the refining of copper in an electrolytic cell during the refining of copper what is the anode what is cathode and what happens as anode and what happens as cathode and what changes occur in electrolyte there are no any change which occurs in the electrolyte no change in color and anode is made up of pure uh, sorry anode is made up of impure copper and cathode is made up of pure copper so the impure copper dissolves yani ki anode dissolve hota jata hai and the pure copper jo cathode pe pure copper hota hai wo deposit hota jata hai so option C is correct. Baki electrolyte may no change. Then question number 39. Brine is one of the raw materials used in solvers process which is a solver process may one of the raw material is brine and what is brine? Brine is the solution of sodium chloride NaCl but it is a solution the concentrated aqueous solution of sodium chloride aqueous solution matlab uske saath water mix hota hai it is known as then brine then question number 50 oh, sorry 40 uh, which of the following statements is true about synthetic fertilizers synthetic fertilizer uh, add organic content to the soil no synthetic fertilizers contain inorganic minerals and they release nutrients very rapidly yes the benefit of using synthetic fertilizers is that they release the nutrients very rapidly so we have completed the 40 questions thank you for watching if you have any question or query please comment